You know that I'm getting old when I see that there's a new young adult novel movie adaptation and I just run away very, very quickly and ask why they keep making these movies. Hello once again watchers of good movies, my name is Nick Pollan, this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today we're going to be talking about the film The Fifth Wave. This is, like I said, the most recent young adult book adaptation about a book which I have not read, so I can't compare the two and I have no idea how accurate it is or anything like that. Main star of this film is Chloe Grace Moretz. I, I generally love her and most of the stuff that she has done and uh, she continues to impress me in this movie. This is the first action role that I've seen her in outside of the Kick-Ass films, so that was kind of a nice change of pace. She's been in more of these drama-esque films recently, and so yeah, it was kind of nice to see her in more of the action setting and taking out guys with guns and stuff. I thought she did a good job in her role. The main premise of this film, if you didn't see the trailers, is that generally this, this alien menace, which we never see in the movie, comes down in the spaceship and starts taking down humanity in various waves. The first wave is an EMP, which knocks out all power on Earth until it doesn't. And then <laughs> the second wave uh, is this giant earthquake thing, which causes the oceans to erupt and just destroy coastal cities. The third wave is this basically upgraded version of the avian bird flu, uh, which takes down a lot of people. And then the fourth wave is them among us and supposedly ready to try to take down humans one by one. Chloe Grace Moretz, her parents are now both dead, and she is trying to rescue her brother who is taken by the army to be recruited into basically their soldier program type thing. The premise of this film, when I saw the trailers, was very unconvincing for me because, because the idea that the central plot of a film is going to revolve around a sister trying to go grab her brother from the army just doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of plausible sense, I didn't think. So there is that. The film is also incredibly slow um, in the in the middle. The, the beginning and the end are actually very entertaining. I found myself enjoying those. I'll touch on those in a minute. But the the middle, especially when they're, they're focused on the forest scenes, because there's a lot of time, about at least half an hour of the, of the film, where Chloe Grace Moretz is walking through a forest with the love interest played by Alex Rowe. And she is interacting with them. The scenes are like maybe a minute or two long generally. It just flips back and forth between her time during this film and then the army and uh, some other characters. And uh, yeah, that part was extremely boring for most of it. But with the intro, the intro is extremely dark. I was not expecting it to be as dark as it was. I thought they were just gonna go boom, 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 boom through these waves and get us right to the beginning. It starts out with Chloe Grace Moretz basically having to decide whether or not to kill this person who she thinks might be trying to kill her. And it's a very dark situation which shows kind of what she now has to deal with. And then we have a flashback just basically setting up this whole film. And we see just how brutal these waves which she is experiencing are. You see people just get taken down by just all of these things. when. When the, the EMP hits, you see cars just slamming into each other. You see an airplane fall out of the sky. With the earthquakes, you see just this huge tsunami just taking down buildings and people just being swept up by the water as it rises above into a building. And it's just, it's it's tough to watch at some points because it's just so, it's so brutal and it's just right in your face right away. And yeah, I, I applaud the movie for doing that. I wasn't really expecting it, with, especially with a PG-13 movie. And like I said, the army scenes where uh, they're kind of focusing on that aspect, that's easily the most interesting and most exciting part of the film because it's dealing with the alien menace. It, if the film had actually focused strictly on that part, I would have been okay with it because it would have felt kind of along the lines of Hunger Games and I would have been, yeah, sure, go with that because these kids training for this, this alien menace to combat it and it's gone a actually fairly well executed plot twist. A lot of the plot points in this film I saw coming very very quickly or at least I was like generally coming up with them in my head as I was watching them and then as the plot twist kind of reveals itself it does it quite nicely. It fell under the lines of what I was expecting to happen but it does it in a nice way that yeah I wasn't disappointed by the fact that I figured it out but 
20 minutes before it was revealed. The ending, which I also won't spoil here, does a nice job of tying the two plot lines together. We got um, Cassie's story and then uh, Ben Parrish, played by Nick Robinson. It, their story is kind of finally coming together and it sets up essentially what a sequel would be. And surprisingly, I'd be okay with a sequel to this movie. I found myself actually enjoying it a lot more than I was expecting to. This is a film which I was avoiding. I could have saw it on Thursday night. I did not. I saw Dairy Grandpa. I could have saw it on Friday and said I saw The Boy. And then I had stuff going on Saturday and now I'm finally getting to this film. And I kind of wish I'd seen it first. And because I, I liked it the most out of th the three films I saw this weekend. So... I keep getting surprised. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I actually ended up enjoying The Fifth Wave a lot more than I was expecting to. I would be okay with watching a sequel if they decide to make one. And if they don't um, end up making one because of the, the box office revenue, I might actually buy the books and read the series just because it got me that intrigued as to kind of what happens next and to see if it falls victim to the, the Maze Runner thing that... that crap sequel did. But guys, those are my general thoughts on The Fifth Wave. Definitely check it out, I guess, this week. If you are interested in seeing it, I definitely recommend it. But those are just my thoughts. Guys, let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you like the film as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, for a comment, and subscribe once again. If you so choose, I'd appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on watching.